Hey everyone, it's Veronica again. It's Anthony. And today we're at the Offsite Construction Management Office where we're going to meet with Maritza Bravo, who is one of our construction engineers. You know what's really amazing about the port is that we have a whole team dedicated to infrastructure alone. And because of that, the footprint of the port is always changing to be the greenest and the most state-of-the-art port as possible. So Maritza, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yes, so I graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering and I've been working here at the port for about three and a half years. I'm very passionate about women engineers, so I started this blog called Engineering Gals. So tell us a little bit more about this project, Maritza. Yeah, so we're currently here at Pier G and we're currently constructing seven new storage rail tracks. I've actually noticed that we've had a lot of rail projects recently. Why is that? currently installing a lot of rail around the port because it moves cargo more efficiently. In the next 10 years, the port will be investing over a billion dollars in rail infrastructure. So tell us some projects that you've worked on. Yes, yeah, so currently I was in the Middle Harbor Phase 3 project where we combined two aging terminals into one terminal, which is the most efficient and greenest terminal in the world. And actually that terminal can handle up to 3 million containers in just one year. Yes, and on top of that, the wharf would be nearly a mile long. So long, it will be able to handle three ships at a time. The terminal will also have the biggest cranes to accommodate the biggest container ships in the world, capable of carrying up to 24,000 containers. What other major projects have been uh, under construction recently? Yes, yeah, so currently we just finished the fire boat station 15. As our port and ships have grown larger, we've invested in the most advanced fire boats in the world. These are equipped with the most sophisticated safety equipment. They could throw water further than any other fire boats around. And right next to it, it'll be the new station for the firefighters. And I hear they're really happy about that because they've been using what was supposed to be temporary trailers for 30 years. And also the bridge project. Okay, yeah, it's very impressive. But why do we build a bridge like that though? Well, the old Gerald Desmond Bridge, which you can see right next to the new bridge, was opened in 1968, and it simply wasn't built for the kind of work we are asking for it to do today. Yeah, I remember the old bridge used to have a lot of traffic and congestion. The new bridge is wider, with three lanes in each direction, with safety lanes all around if there are any vehicle breakdowns. Yeah, and the new bridge is also higher to allow for larger ships to pass underneath. And I've heard that the main towers that hold up those cable stayed portion of the bridge are 515 feet tall, and you can see them for miles. It even lights up at night. It's so beautiful. So anything else you want to tell us before we head back to the office? Yes, here at the port, we're always under construction from dredging operations to pump stations, underground utilities, you name it. Jeez, that sounds like a lot, but thank you very much for your time, Ritz. I really appreciate it. So back to the office.